think every season we begin by saying we would we would like to be playing our best basketball at the end of the year, and, and um, I think it's safe to say that, that this team is uh, is doing that right now. And um, I couldn't be any more proud of, of our players because we were not a very good team uh, two three months ago, and. Um, that team that I watched play tonight looked like a pretty doggone good team to me. And, and um, they deserve every ounce of the credit because they have stayed with each other. They've, they've continued to believe in themselves at a time when, um, at times earlier in the year, um, I mean, we, we got beat, we got held to 33 points um, by Marist down in Orlando. Okay, so. Um, there, was, there was a point this season where, where we really weren't very good. And um, now to watch that tonight, to watch us on the defensive end, um, and then to watch the execution offensively and the confidence that guys have to jump up and make shots and, and to make plays for each other, it, it's very gratifying. I think the most satisfying thing you can have as a coach is to get your team to play as close to their potential as, as they possibly possess. And I felt like tonight we came very close to playing to, to, to our very fullest potential. And, and that is, um, uh, I don't care if it's a veteran team, uh, an experienced team, an ex extremely talented team, or a young team, uh, or what. Your job as the coach is to try to make them as, as good as they can be and help them become as good as they can be. And, and tonight, uh, we, we got really close to that, I thought. And, and, um, I couldn't be any more proud of this group, and um, uh, this was this was a terrific night. And, and like I said, they deserve every ounce of the credit. All right, we'll take your questions for either of the student athletes. If you'll raise your hand, we'll get a floor microphone for you. Let's go ahead and start right in the middle. This is for both you guys. There are a lot of Kentucky fans in there tonight. Talk about playing with that atmosphere, Rod. Uh, was, you know, we, we knew uh, from last year when we played that there was going to be a, a lot of blue in there. It's always more fun that way. That's kind of why you play the game for environments like that. So I think it made the environment more fun for us. Now, um, to be honest, I was kind of surprised because I thought that there might be like a little more Vandy fans. But I mean, like I said, it was it was really fun just to like hear that crowd, hear all those people like not say a word. You know, all you could hear was our Vandy fans, and it was just great to it was great to be there. It was great to feel. Another question. Bill? Both of you guys, yesterday you discussed how last time against Kentucky you really didn't come back and throw punches at them. Just describe how the mentality of um, punching back really played a part in this game. Um, it was just, it was all a team effort. I mean, like, we just did not stop. And there was a time where, like, they got on a run. And um, coach, and coach called a timeout and just brought us in and said, we need to calm down. We need to just play our game, relax. And um, we and we went back and we went back out there. And Dejan hit some good shots, some big shots, you know. And everybody started playing hard again. And it was just it was just good to see the maturity in us. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, the first uh, couple games with them, uh, I think they came out and hit us in the mouth pretty good. And you know, we tried to make a point of going out there and competing from the beginning of the game. And I think that did a lot for us today. Okay. Question far back on the right. There were times for both players. There were times your offense flowed so well that it, it almost looked effortless. Was it actually tougher than it looked, Rod? Yeah, I mean, they're a great defensive team, and you know, they got uh, great guys at the rim protecting the rim, and so it was tough, but uh, we just tried to stay with it. Uh, even though we had some long possessions, we just tried to stay with it and make plays for each other, which is probably why it looked that way. So, yeah, it was, it was definitely harder than it looked, but I mean, I just feel like we've been in the gym with Coach Rich and like the different coaches have been working on a jump shot and just been working on execution. And I'm just really happy it kind of paid off for today. Question on the left. Kyle, uh, how gratifying is this for you? You played a lot as a freshman, kind of fell out of the rotation last year. Now, you know, up, up on the podium after a big win like this. Um, it's kind of one of the best feelings I've had. I mean, I'm trying to hide my emotions until, until like I get back to the locker room. But, um, I mean, it's just a good feeling to like know that you know your hard work is paying off, you know, and and just the fact that you know we started out not as good and then now we're all playing our best ball. Everybody's playing their best ball, 
And it's just a great feeling to see that every single one of us are growing up. Okay, got a question on the left side. For either Kyle or Rod, how does it feel now you've talked about one day at a time, you now get to play on Saturday in the semifinals? Rod? Uh, it's a great feeling. Uh, that, was, that was our goal coming into this game to play tomorrow. And uh, it's great to accomplish that goal again. And like Coach says, these day to games get more fun, so I'm sure it'll be a great opportunity and a great experience for us tomorrow. We have time for one more question for the student athletes. Let's take it right on the left side. Kyle, last night, uh, the poise kind of went down the stretch. Tonight, you guys kept it together the whole time. What was the difference? Because both teams really get after you defensively. Um, just to, like, like I said before, we have a really good partner, Kedron, and uh, he really knows how to. He really knows how to take heat and calm and calm everybody down, and um, I feel like me and him both did that, and I feel like we tried to run our team the best way we could, and and just the fact that our uh, teammates follow us and really follow our lead was really good to see. All right, we'll excuse the student athletes. Uh, you can return to the locker room. Thank you, and we'll continue on with questions for Coach Stalling. If you'll raise your hand, and we'll get a floor mic to you. Go ahead and start right in the middle. Uh, Coach, Coach Cal talked about how um, one of the hardest things to do is have a bye and play a hot team that just played the day before. How much do you think it um, helped you guys to play yesterday and get some momentum and uh, comfort zone going? Well, I think, and I said this in, in our locker room before I came in here, I don't know who to, but I think sometimes it can be an advantage to play. Uh, you run out of advantages at some point if you play, you know, Saturday or Sunday with somebody that's playing their third game and you're playing your fourth game, then you know your your advantage sort of runs out. But I do think on the in the second game like today, and I think he's right, it can be a disadvantage to have the bye and to play someone who's playing well. If you play someone, um, excuse me, who's not playing as well, or they just kind of snuck through or, or whatever, um, then that might not be the case. But obviously, we're we're playing decently right now, and and. Um, uh, and so I would agree with what John said about that. I think that that uh, can very well be the case. And, and, you know, they're coming in and they haven't experienced the tournament atmosphere yet. They've got a lot of young guys. And even though we have a lot of young guys, we, we had experienced it and played a game in it and, uh, and, a, and a, a very competitive game, no less. And so there probably was some advantage to start the game with for us in, in that regard. Another question. Coach, it's your 400th win. Uh, with Vanderbilt, how does it feel to reach that milestone in such a big game? I didn't know that that was the case, um, and I don't, I don't think it's my 400th win at Vanderbilt. Um, it might be my 400th win overall, but even if it is, I didn't know that either. Uh, I just know I haven't been there long enough to win 400 games. Um, I've been there long enough to lose 400. Though. <laughs> I feel like I have. Um, you know. I, I don't know, I guess it's, um, it'll be a memorable 400th win. And, um, but I never think about things like that. And so I'm always caught off guard and I didn't know that it was 400 until you just said it. So um, that's the best I can do with that question, I'm sorry. <laughs> question on one, go ahead. Uh, Kevin, which is more satisfying for a coach to have a team like you had last year with a lot of expectations and then you win this tournament or a team like this year, as you mentioned, was not playing well and now here at the end of the year you feel like you are playing your best basketball. I think that the most satisfaction comes from whichever team that you feel like you got the closest to their their playing potential. And um, uh, obviously to beat that Kentucky team that we beat last year in the championship game, we had to play very close to our potential because that's one of the best college basketball teams I've seen in many years. Um, having said that, I'm very, very proud, and I, I don't remember, it's been a long time since I've been as proud of a team as I, as I am this team here. I, I, I'm very, very proud of this team. I'm very proud of this season, and we're, we're 16 and 16. It's the first time we've been 500 in about five months. And, and um, uh, but you know what? I wish it was better than that, but very proud of it.